All right, we're gonna go ahead and get this thing programmed. We get chirp next on here. And uh, download from the radio. I've already tried it out before, scanned it, saved a file. So what I don't like about this new version of Chirp <clears throat> is that it's really hard for you to go into repeater book and um, you can't do the political query no more, which was basically meant um, you could uh, pull repeaters off a repeater book based on the county that you live in or the distance. So now I think you need to know your latitude and longitude and then you can put the distance. Um, uh, let's see. It does say filter options. So uh, let's try uh, Hi County. Um, but um, What's happening is it's pulling up like 300 something repeaters for me. Um, we got two meters and 70 centimeters. And um, then you do the 1.25 also. Now, only certain modes. It was just, it was a lot easier with the old one. And then also, like the old one would pull up a chart and you could shift over all the numbers so that when you wrote it to the radio, it would just write it to where your last stuff was programmed. Let's click OK. It says no results. So filter, optional, county, hospital, etc. And so since I don't know my information and I think it's not working, I'm going to go into QRZ and I'm going to pull up my latitude and longitude and I'm going to enter it in there. And hopefully that'll work. So that did in fact work pretty good. I didn't end up with what I normally would be 300 results. I got, um, let's see, um, I had 33 results. So, and that was by pulling it up for 50 miles away. Um, so now that we know that that works, um, I'll go ahead and close this out and I'll go back over here. Hopefully it remembers my information so I don't have to do it again. Okay, so I'm going to change this 50 miles to um, 100. And hopefully it doesn't exceed the amount that the uh, thing can handle. Okay, so we get certain bands. Click OK. Certain modes, FM. Click OK. Okay. So let's see a lot more. How many do we get? 62. So what we need to do now is um, we go into here. I don't know why this thing thinks it's doing something. Um, we need to go into here. Click this and then go up to edit, select all, and then um, right click copy. Okay, now we're going to go into um, our stock file from where we scanned. And we need to um, paste this on line 21. So um, I'm trying to remember how I did it last time. I think I just went in put paste yeah okay so it just started from there so then as we scroll down here um yeah so that should work so let's just go ahead and go and write to the radio upload to the radio and Gives me like a warning. It doesn't actually look like it's doing anything um, compared to the other radios, what it'd be normally flashing. But the blue light is on. I don't know what that necessarily means. But I can see that it definitely did something. 
So I didn't even check any of these repeaters to see what the hell I'm even putting in my radio. Um, but it looks pretty simple, straightforward. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. I don't know what the hell this is. Um, I think this is the stock configuration of like something that's in the radio for some reason and it's all got like tones and stuff there's like 17 channels of i don't know what anyway um so we probably should have just went in and wrote over on the top of that but anyway i mean you can do it however you want so pretty simple on this one <laughs> 